to a CBS News exclusive, a CBS News Colorado exclusive, that is. Many people can say that they have been to a concert at Red Rocks, and just about all of us can also tell you about the headache we've endured just as we get into that venue. But now, your reporter in Jefferson County, Karen Morfitt, has found there are plans for public transportation. How you got here today? My car, my Subaru. Tell me how you got here. We drove, minivan. And why drive? The only transportation here at the moment. The result, packed parking lots and on a concert night, lines of traffic. The same can also be said at neighboring parks. There are hundreds of people that work at Red Rocks that we don't have uh, accessible transportation. Jefferson County Commissioner Andy Kerr says their open space department has had a long-standing goal of connecting different places of interest in that area. So dinosaur tracks, bike tracks, hiking tracks, music tracks, and rail tracks. Red Rocks is the music piece. A Denver Mountain Park City Councilman Daryl Watson was already on the same page. Our target is 2025 Red Rock season to have an option from the W line. The West line does go into Jefferson County. For those who don't know right now, the W line takes you where? Takes you to the Jeffco Center, which is nowhere. <laughs> I mean, it, the idea it, it, is to have a connector there that then moves people into those more desired locations, Red Rocks being just one of them. But Matthews Winters Park, Apex, and downtown Morrison are others. What that ride looks like is yet to be determined. Some kind of uh, shuttle certainly want to make it... Uh, as green as possible. Yeah. Councilman Watson well, we says on top sure of reducing the carbon footprint, there's also a safety concern that currently isn't being addressed. There are many accidents um, from folks coming from a very nice concert that they've enjoyed themselves at and then literally driving all the way back to Denver. Uh, that's not very safe at all. There are still a lot of questions to be answered, especially when it comes to funding. But Watson says they're not letting it slow them down. How do you pay for it has been the death of many really great ideas. I'm Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.